Yesterday I had the awesome opportunity to go to a local high school here in Manila and witness an initiative that a local charity is using to try and bridge the gap between Christians and Muslims in the country. Watch this video to see more. Peacetaker is a non-profit organization run by my good friend Robin Pettifer and the idea behind it is to use technology to kind of break down the divide between different groups of people and the way it's being used at the moment is in the classroom to have video conferences between two different classes in different areas of the country. So yesterday I had the awesome opportunity to go and see this uh, in person to see exactly what it is and we literally had one class here in Manila having a live video conference with another class in the south of the country in a place called Cotabato City which is in Mindanao. This is a conflict ridden place and has been for the last three decades and is mainly Muslim or Moro background there. So we have mainly Christians in Manila having a live conference chat with Muslim or Moro people, Muslim or Moro students in Cotabato City. These kids are all around about 14 years old and for many of them they've never met um, people from this other this this group this this other group so many of the Christians have never met any Muslims before and many of the Muslims have never met any Christians before and the idea is to kind of allow these children to kind of break down any kind of discrimination that they may have otherwise built up um, about these different type of people about uh, and to realize that you know behind race behind religion behind people from wide varieties of different backgrounds no matter what it is they're still just people so yesterday as I said I had the opportunity to go and see this live in person and we went to a local school called Lacandula which is in Tondo now Tondo in case you don't know is in Manila um, and it's quite a rundown place to say the least I mean we were driving to this high school and I'm looking around and it's just chaotic there's um, these streets are very dirty very busy you can clearly see the kind of poverty that's in this area so yeah this is a pretty rough and ready kind of place and so I didn't really know what to expect when we pulled up at this high school but actually going into the high school I was very pleasantly surprised by the attitude and the welcomeness and the friendliness of the students there they were just very welcoming to me and I could see the attitude that they had on their face. It was completely different to anything I, I remember experiencing through my high school period. Okay, this is cool, this is cool. Today we're going into the next module of, of discrimination, but just before we begin. So when I entered the classroom, all the kids were sat down and really eager to start getting going with this live conference. So we had like I say, we had 30 or 40 children here about the age of 14. And these, these are all Christian children from Manila. And as you can see on the screen here, that's the live webcast of the children that are in Cotabato City, which is in Mindanao. And this is predominantly Muslim or Moro children. Just look at the interaction between two groups of children. I mean, they're literally, they're building up friendships here. Today's lesson or yesterday's lesson was about non-violent communication so there was a one hour half hour lesson about how to de-escalate a situation a potentially violent situation through communication and this is a really interesting topic really cool topic by itself but it really added an extra dimension the fact that you could have kids on this side doing things like role plays to the children on the other side and then they would respond with their own role play and then you would have like a question and answer session. So some of the kids, some of the Christian kids would ask, for instance, the, the Muslims about aspects of their religion or their daily life. And there would be a Q&A session going and you could really see that the kids were building up some kind of friendship, even to the point where um, some children, some, some of the students on our side were calling out the names of people they want to talk to on the other side. So there's real friendships being built up there. And I've since learned from talking to the teachers that many of the students are communicating to each other outside of the lesson. So they've actually built up a friendship to the point where, you know, 
they're, they're communicating, they're having chats, even outside of school, which I think is really great. So here's an example of a role play about nonviolent communication on screen that I'm just about to show you. Unfortunately, it's in Tagalog, and my Tagalog is, um, let's say, less than fluent. So I can't really translate for you, but you can get the picture. <laughs> So as she managed to sit down with three of the awesome teachers at Lakandula High School, Arlene, Miss Malu and Miss Joanne, and I actually I sat down to give them an interview but unfortunately I managed to mess it up. I forgot to put the phone cover on the microphone so the the sound is all distorted but I basically asked them about what kind of benefits they think the students are getting from this kind of session and they were 100% on board with this project they, they say that in 2012 they did this for a year and they can really see the benefits that the students are getting from this kind of thing like increase in empathy and just their curiosity more than anything about people from different backgrounds for instance um, Malu gave us a story whereby um, some of the girls on the Muslim side, so in, in Katabato City, we're wearing a, a jihad, which is the the, fa the kind of head gown garment, and some weren't. And the students were curious why are some of the girls wearing it and some aren't. And, and they asked the question and they, they got a session going and, and it was really quite interesting to see the back and forth between the two groups of people. And the, sh the teachers say that the kids are really enjoying the session, really engaged and that it's making a huge difference to the way they see people from different different backgrounds. One thing that I can take away from this experience is I really believe in the work that Robin and Peace Tech and everyone else involved in this initiative is doing. I can really see with the students that by, by putting a face to a label, right? So by actually seeing and meeting Muslim students, um, for the Muslim students to actually see and meet Christian students, to actually bring these groups of people together, it's just tearing down any preconceived um, discrimination that these kids otherwise might build up. You can see that they're kind of curious about the lives that other people have and asking questions, for instance, about the religion. This kind of understanding, this kind of empathy can only be good for these children as they grow, um, as they grow up and they, they go into the community and, and start their lives. So I'm really 100% believer in this project and if you want to contribute to this in any way shape or form I'm going to put some links below where you can see the Peace Tech website and you can see the YouTube channel and if you want to get involved just contact there's a contact form on the site you just contact Peace Tech and they'll be in touch with you very shortly so shortly after we arrived the students had to have um, what's called a flood retreat. So this is an exercise um, just in case there's a flood. There was a flood once in the area, but uh, it doesn't happen too often, uh, thankfully. But they still have to do like these, these flood drills. I guess it's like a fire drill, right? Um, and so all the students went into the courtyard just to practice their evacuation. Check out this video, it's pretty crazy. Look how many there are. I've never seen this many people. Yeah, uh, that's the half of the 5,000 plus. This is just 2,500? Yeah, they are the afternoon uh, students. Wow. There are so many kids, oh my goodness. Finally, I have to say a massive thank you to Robin and Peace Tech for allowing me to come along and film the whole thing and to help get involved and to see this, this great project. Also, massive thanks to Lakandula High School and the three awesome teachers, Malu, Arlene and Joanne, for letting me uh, come and speak to them and ask them questions and show me around the school. I'm really grateful for the whole experience and I will be contributing as much as possible to this project going forward.